I'm debating on even posting this video. Um, my name's Dave Rashad. Uh, if you're watching this, this is around the time that news it was confirmed that Kobe Bryant had died in a helicopter crash. I'm not too big on my RP videos and all that. If you're catching me, Terry died. I'm sorry. But um, I wanted to be known, you know, for those that don't know me. I've been a Lakers fan, but more importantly, I've been a Kobe Bryant fan. And a lot of my mindset was shaped off how he is. So, for instance, you know, he could play through anything. And, and I, the way I taught myself, like, weightlifting all that, I was like, you know, hey, if I can do it like this, then I can do it easily, regular. You know what I'm saying? And to sit here and see that news, that that's a blow to me. Lil Peep's death hurt. This one hurts a lot. All right. This is coming from someone who's sitting there. And I got this from my homie. He was the one to actually break the news to me. Sitting here. Collector's cars and all that. Everything. Like, I, I've watched so many videos on him. I mean, just sitting there studying all kinds of stuff. Even though I'm not, you know, super amazing at basketball. I just admire the work ethic and the mindset behind it and all that. So to sit there and see that one of the people that I really looked up to is, you know, gone at 42, that's pretty rough. That's rough as hell. Like, I don't, I'm at a loss of words. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like me getting a message and it was, you know, someone joking around. So I looked and then it was confirmed. And it, what makes it really sad is that, you know, it was supposed to be the next chapter of his life. You know what I'm saying? After basketball, he's supposed to, you know, businessman Kobe Bryant all that. You know, he's happy. He's commemorating LeBron for doing good and all that. And he didn't get to get to that next chapter of his life to sit there and, you know, really help his daughters and all that when, you know, basketball is over with. So... I'm, I don't know. I'm going to try and record the best I can, but I'm letting you know ahead of time that it um is really affecting me. It's going to mess with me mentally for a little while because as someone that I sat there and looked up for, I sit there going to buy jerseys, going to buy shoes and all that, primarily because that's how much I love Kobe Bryant. The first pair I want to say that I went out and bought was a pair of Kobe. I want to say Kobe 8s. Here were the Kobe 8s. I went and got them, and I was just so happy to get it. I was broke, and I'm like, you know what? If Kobe can wear them, I should. I, should, I want to wear them, too. I want to be just like him, try to jump up there, try to dunk like him, try to do everything like him. Because I, I had to teach myself basketball for real, for real. I had to teach myself that, and that was... One of the first people that I sat there and loved and tried to mimic and all that. So to see him go out not even in something that he could control or anything, it's crazy. You know, it hurts. It hurts a whole bunch. That being said, drop your favorite Kobe, excuse me, Kobe memories down below. You know, I like to hear about it because he was. He meant a lot to me, man. This is my idol. Say a shout out.